Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the ninth generation of Pokemon. A big subject among the community over the last couple days is the question of how soon we're getting Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Is it too early that we're getting Generation 9? It feels like, among many, that we just had Generation 8 with Sword and Shield and the eventual Diamond and Pearl remakes and Pokemon Legends Arceus. This generation still feels really fresh to a lot of people. So today, I wanted to give my thoughts on if it's too soon to be getting the newest generation of Pokemon. Let's jump right into things. Now, just before we get into the bulk of the video, I wanted to take a moment to promote my social media pages. I have Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. They are always linked down in the description. And if you guys want to hear my thoughts on anything that's happening with Pokemon, with Nintendo, or with other things, you can drop a follow on any of those. I predominantly use Twitter. You can follow me at LinkyYT, but I am at LinkyYT on every single social media platform. So be sure to drop a follow and you'll never miss all the other things that I'm doing besides just posting videos. Generation 8 is coming to a close. We are going to be ending this year with the start of Pokemon Gen 9. There are over 900 Pokemon now. We are slowly but surely approaching 1,000, and it's a pretty interesting moment in Pokemon's history to start a brand new gen. We are coming off a wild year, wherein we got two mainline Pokemon releases within the span of three months, starting with BDSP back in November, and in January of this year, Pokemon Legends Arceus. It is an unprecedented time for the Pokemon franchise with the amount of games that are coming out. It's interesting because I think the release schedule for BDSP and Legends has contributed a lot to some of the emotions surrounding some people in the Pokemon community that it's too soon for Gen 9. I mean, after all, Legends Arceus only came out a month ago. Pokemon BDSP came out four months ago. It feels like they could have taken a year off and it would have been completely normal. Maybe this year would have gotten filled with DLC for Legends Arceus or BDSP. Maybe this year would have seen an announcement later on, maybe in the summer or in the fall, and we still would have gone back to that normal schedule of end of year releases for new games and nothing really in the beginning. Legends Arceus was definitely a departure. But before I talk about Generation 9 specifically, I wanted to offer my own personal theory to how the last couple months have unfolded. Game Freak, of course, were the developers for Pokemon Legends Arceus. They outsourced BDSP to Ilka, the company that helped them develop Pokemon Home, the bank replacement for the Nintendo Switch. I would posit that originally behind the scenes, Pokemon Legends Arceus was going to be the quote-unquote Sinnoh remake. It was going to be the big return to Sinnoh for the franchise. But there was probably some internal discussions at Game Freak and the Pokemon Company where they said, our fans are used to fresh remakes. They're used to remakes that take an older game and build it up to the newest generation, give us the features, give us some new modern amenities, but keep the same story and keep the same style of those OG games. They probably decided, we don't want to just not give people the Generation 4 treatment that Oras was to Ruby and Sapphire, that Heart Gold and Soul Silver was to Gold and Silver, etc., etc. But they decided, okay, we're working on Legends Arceus, let's give this to Ilka, a developer that we know pretty well as of recent. Let's give them our resources, let's give them our support, and let's give something else also to Pokemon fans so that they're satisfied. And that ended up getting Legends Arceus pushed into the January release with BDSP coming out in the traditional time frame, which is November. And they probably did this because they knew BDSP was going to be a little bit controversial. So they wanted to put it in the prime selling month, right before Black Friday, right before the holidays, the traditional big Pokemon release window. That's my personal theory. I think that's why Legends was moved to January. I shared this with some friends a couple days ago. That's my little, that's why I think it feels a little strange with where Legends is and where Pokemon BDSP is on the timeline, on the calendar of release. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. With that being said, let's take out BDSP. Imagine that game 
didn't exist. Legends Arceus was our main line game. It was the Sinnoh Return. It was the Sinnoh Remake, but this new coat of paint, and it had come out in November. We'd be coming into this year probably speculating still about DLC for Legends because Sword and Shield has now set the precedent that Pokemon games can get big, meaty DLC campaigns. But we'd be speculating about Generation 9. Pokemon Sword and Shield came out in 2019, it is now 2022. It's been three years, it's an appropriate amount of time, and it does line up with some previous shorter generations of when we would expect to start hearing rumblings at the very least of a brand new generation. I think that change in the calendar has thrown a couple people off. Legends Arceus was, a, was, was very weird. They could have, in a different timeline, have released Legends at the end of 2022 and released BDSP at the end of 2021, and if we didn't have the context that we do now, it probably would have felt pretty normal. But the Pokemon company is juggling a bunch of different things right now, a bunch of different projects from Game Freak and other devs, so they decided to line out this release schedule as is. I was talking to a couple friends as well recently about the anime. In a previous video, I talked about how one of the reasons why I felt it was too soon for Gen 9 was that it seemed like the anime just wasn't, you know, nearing the end. But after talking to a couple friends who are big Pokemon anime uh, fans, I guess, uh, for lack of a better term, they are in a point where the anime could be wrapped up within a year or so without it seeming rushed. So that fear is alleviated a little bit. The other thing that I want to talk about is specifically it being too soon just for the sake of it being too soon. It's, it's a discussion that I've seen in an argument that I've seen presented from some people in the community that, listen, I think Scarlet and Violet looks really good. I think Scarlet and Violet have a lot of potential. I think they look really exciting and I'm looking forward to playing them, but it's too soon. They should take some time. I would argue and I'd make a counter argument and say, if the games look good to you, if the games are something you're excited for and you don't look at them and go, why is this being shown now? This looks way, way, way too early. Not even Legends early where it got polished up uh, a year from release. This game, in my opinion, looks better than Legends looked at reveal and looks better than BDSP looked at reveal. Those, Both of those games got polished by the time release came out, but this game looks further along. And as everybody knows, or if you don't, you will know now, Game Freak does have multiple dev teams working on games at any given time. It is not one specific team. It's not as if they finished BDSP and then said, okay, now time for Legends, or finished Sword and Shield and said, okay, now time for Legends. And then once they finished Legends, okay, now time for Scarlet and Violet. They have multiple teams with different directors and different developers working on these games side to side. I would make an argument, and I'd probably believe it, that Legends and Scarlet and Violet were getting developed at least at one point side to side. Maybe one started earlier than the other, probably Legends, but I would guess that that's how the whole thing unfolded. So if the games are exciting and the games look good, I don't really like the argument of they should take time off just because it feels strange that we're getting so many Pokemon games. There are so many franchises and so many fans of franchises that Nintendo has that take five to 10 years between releases. I think all of them would welcome the kind of uh, release schedule that Pokemon has for the games that they love. Think about all the Metroid fans who have had to wait countless years with absolutely no information from Nintendo about what the future holds, only to randomly get a brand new game, and then back to be wondering, what's next? Are we going to wait another six years for the next 2D Metroid? When is Metroid Prime 4 coming out? Look at Animal Crossing and how much time was between Animal Crossing New Leaf and Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is not normal. We don't have a ton of Nintendo franchises that are yearly or bi-yearly. Zelda, Mario, Pokemon, those are the big ones. Smash Brothers and Mario Kart only come out once per console generation. This is not the norm for Pokemon. Pokemon is also, as a lot of people mention a lot, the largest multimedia franchise on Earth. If Game Freak has the staff to develop these games at the rate at which they do, then Inherently, I don't see a lot of value in the argument, oh, it's just too soon because look when the last release happened. I don't really like that. It feels lazy and it feels a little contrived to me. If I saw Scarlet and Violet at release and it looked worse than Legends Arceus did at reveal, I would say, huh, maybe they should have waited a year to even reveal this, work on completely polishing it, and then we get the game in 2023. But it looked better to me 
and maybe I'm in a minority than Legends or BDSP looked, as I've mentioned a couple times now. I don't see anything from the reveal to make me think these games are being rushed. And I don't see anything from the timeline that makes me think this is a deep oddity in the Pokemon schedule and then in the timeline of releases of when we're getting a new generation. There are interesting discussions to be had about what Gen 9 is. Are we going to hit a thousand Pokemon? Will that be saved for Gen 10? Is this a soft reboot? Is this just a, a basic continuation? How are they going to build upon some of the things they added in Legends? All of these discussions are worth being had and we're going to have them on the channel. But on the merits of a new generation starting in 2022, I don't think it's too early anymore. I think I was a little naive in some of my previous videos and I was making arguments that reflecting on them some more, I don't think I fully agree with at this point. Now, of course, I could be wrong. You guys might think I'm wrong, and that's where the comments section comes in. What do you guys think? Is it too soon for Gen 9? Do you like what you saw from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's reveal? Let me know down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like because it shows me a ton of support that I really appreciate, and it helps other people find the video. And as I mentioned previously, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.